so I was talking about the test entry points. Okay, so if if you see this, these are uh, you can directly pull from the source, and then you can pull it into the target, right? So, but just uh, just imagine one thing. Okay, maybe uh, you are uh, staging, or maybe your source is distributed across uh, uh, various geographies. Okay, and your target warehouse into another geography. Okay. So there can be a lot of latency and if you see this if target warehouse pulls the data from the source it will try to put a lock over here on the different tables uh, or connect to this uh, source system for multiple for a longer period of time okay and then try to pull a data right and this might impact the overall uh, performance of this uh, this system okay if the entire ETL process is also happening before the data is moved to the warehouse, it will pull a data, do some massaging of a data, and then pull into the warehouse. Okay. So in order to avoid this, okay, in order to avoid the entire um, locking mechanism, okay, what we typically do is we move this data into a different staging area. So whatever data I am interested in, first I would move that data into my staging databases or a staging area. Okay. And from that staging area, I, I basically my operational impact is very less now. Okay, since I moved the data from here to here without much of uh, uh, processing and the transformations. Uh, so, so this is a plain copy of a data. Ideally, what it happens in a um, uh, in a staging, there will not of much. There will not be much of transformation. In a, from a staging layer, when you want to pull into data warehouse, you, you can put everything into the same network. Okay, so the latency and the network bandwidth utilization would be very, very fast. And then you start um, doing a, a extraction, you do some transformation of a data, and then finally you load the data into the data warehouse. Okay, so there is the typical where you need to test it out. Right? So this, are, this is the second layer where you need to test it out. This is the first layer where you wanted to just pull in the data and see, understand the schemas are matching or not, and the data is there is no truncation of a data uh, when the data is moved. Okay. Then the second layer, as I mentioned, you need to do certain transformations, certain data cleaning tasks, which happens as part of null or as part of higher values, which you want to clean it up and pull the data into the warehouse. This is another uh, entry point where you need to validate it, and the data once the data is moved into the warehouse. You would still, you would again like to revalidate whether the schema is matching. There is no data truncation and so on and so forth. Right. Finally, from the data warehouse, as I mentioned in my last slide, you can put the data into the data marts or a cubes. Okay. And based on the different, uh, uh, say, example, this data mart can only serve to my uh, shares information. This data mart can only serve to my business area like loans. Okay, so you have a partial data which comes over here and here, and then the final BA reporting happens on that. So you have to process, you have to do the testing entry. This is your test entry points where you need to validate, and then once it shows into the report, you would again like to revalidate those reports, right? So testers role in an ETL would be more uh, checking onto the different entry points and finding out a defect and bugs and then assigning the bug based on different areas like staging then it can we can say um, data marts and the cubes and so on and so forth okay right. testing types and tools so uh, so this is a typical flow as we were talking about okay what are the different kinds of uh, testing which can happen okay let me just quickly take this up so as I was talking about the data integration, right? And uh, we will talk about acquisition and transformations and all. Okay. So if, if you see this uh, from here to here, it would be more like a schema validations and all I was talking about. That you can do a certain performance checks also. Okay. Uh, because you really would not like to do a lot of, uh, 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 you really wanted to check whether the performance is not totally bad when the data is coming into my staging area, right? Once the staging area is, uh, the data is there, you would like to check uh, again uh, from the movement from here to here, you would like to understand what exactly can happen, basically what is the integration process, 
if you are pulling uh, moving a data there as i was mentioning there is an integration process involved so you have to validate that data integration processes okay then you would like to do a transformation logic check okay so because between staging and data warehouse you you do certain transformation and that is where you need to do certain kind of validation checks okay and once the data comes into data warehouse uh, from data warehouse to cube the validation would be basically the cube design and the dimensional model okay compare the data between the cube and the dimensional model so the data is moved so you need to check whether the data is properly or not okay and finally the performance uh, of script because if you have to pull a data from data warehouse to cube it has to be certain cube queries and then you need to validate those queries Finally, from the reporting perspective, you need to validate those reports, right? And based on that validation, you would need to uh, check whether it's a drill down reports, all the data is coming fine. You, need, you can do a load testing also for the reports, how long the report takes to generate, okay, so on and so forth, right? So these are di different kind of validation you will be performing into a data warehousing. So I think I have, okay, so a very, very important prerequisite for being a data warehousing tester, okay, is you should be very, very comfortable with uh, performance, okay, yeah, because you might have to do a lot of uh, ETL performance tuning, uh, not tuning, basically performance analysis or, or I'll say performance engineering, okay, and those performance engineering can ha only happen once you know, uh, uh, once you know, the uh, uh, SQL syntax and how the SQL scripts works, how you can generate the data. So one is a performance aspect, one is a functional aspect. Functional aspect, you need to really take a subset of a data query, write your own queries to validate those data. And you should be very, very good at the SQL concept, SQL concepts, right? And you should uh, you should know SQL language in and out, right? We have covered SQL as part of the subsequent models, and you should be very, very comfortable with the SQL concept, right? The second thing on uh, the SQL language, I would say, uh, rather than the concepts, the second thing I would force on a performance concept, how the performance is evaluated, okay? How you can say what is the time taken from by each stored procedure to complete a certain task. That is the performance part of it. The finally uh, data warehousing concept as I will be talking about in a, in a subsequent slide. You should know the concepts much better. Okay, We will try to show you certain concepts implemented into our uh, when we go into the ETL concept. We will be talking about dimensions. We will be talking about the facts. We'll be talking about different type of dimension. We'll be talking about different type of facts. We'll be talking about data quality checks. We'll be talking about data cleaning tasks. One of the data cleaning tasks which I have mentioned earlier. So we'll be talking about all those things and those will build a very concrete conceptual understanding on the data warehousing. Okay, so that is very, very important from a tester perspective. Thank you and this uh, this completes our prerequisite session uh, or the first session on the data warehousing model. Let's meet up for another sessions and continue our learning.